Aries, I'm Eddie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 9th to the 15th of July. So this week we're really focusing on relationships because we've got Venus moving signs. So you probably know that Venus is the planet of love and it's now moving into Virgo. So this is a very earthy, sensual energy and as you can see I am in a very earthy place right now so it's very fitting. And what this is going to do is it's going to make us kind of feel a little bit more grounded in our relationships. And at first there's going to be a little bit of a, um, like a crossover stage. So you might feel like all of a sudden things feel a little bit different in some of your relationships. And this might be a good thing or a bad thing. In particular you need to watch out for things like um, arguing over um, whose responsibilities, you know, household issues are, um, nitpicking, um, trying to like assert independence, because Aries and Virgo, they're, they're actually what's known as in conjunct, so it's not that they don't fit together, I mean a any sign can work well together, but with Aries and Virgo there can be this kind of like not meeting eye to eye, in that maybe one person's doing more, one person wants to take the lead, maybe one person is nitpicking more, maybe one person does want to be more independent from um, this like uh, situation that you've got going on and basically all you really need to do is communicate about it and try and meet halfway because Venus and Virgo as much as it's not um, a, like a passionate kind of fiery energy it is a very understanding energy and it is one that you can use to then try and just like talk to each other and sort out any maybe little niggles that you might have. So then at the end of the week we've got new moon in Cancer, so this is a really emotional time and if you have found any little relationship uh, wobbles that you wanted to fix then that, this is a really really good time, the new moon, um, to bring in new ways of thinking. So if you want to start taking the lead in your relationship say, um, or you want to um, stop being as critical of um, your partner perhaps or anything like this you can then use the energy of the new moon to bring that in and to set new goals for yourself and actually this will be a really nice week if you can try and just like cooperate communicate and then just like see what you want to bring in for the next period so good luck and it should be a good week don't worry too much and i hope to see you next time if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe we would be very very grateful much love